Hey, what's up you guys? Um, I really didn't want to do this video this way, but I felt like crap the past like couple of days. I started out with a migraine and this progressed until I have like a sore throat. And I really didn't want to go to work today, but this is going to be the only way I can get this video in. But aside from that, I hope all of you are doing well. Um, the weather here in North Carolina is gross right now. Like it snowed yesterday. Like a massive amount of snow, like three or four inches, and it was completely gone by the end of the day. So, North Carolina weather at its finest. So, as you guys can see, this video is titled uh, Trisha Paytas Liposuction Exposed. If you think this is going to be a bashing video of Trisha Paytas, you got the wrong guy. I'm like an uber fan of Trisha Paytas. She's been someone that I've followed like for years, like since the start of her YouTube career here. And I get a lot of shit for that sometimes because she's talked about some controversial shit but that that's neither here nor there um that's not why i watch her i like her as a person and she <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed she does this for like attention like some of this stuff like it's not in a bad way either like but she's a genius in her own right and i admire her for that but that's not the topic of this video the topic of this video is about her liposuction like trisha paytas uh, to me like she's beautiful like she didn't need all this work done and I think that she's got a lot of shit for getting this work done because people are saying she's taking the easy road out and you can say whatever you want to say about that but we all know that lipo is not very easy to deal with the recovery of that it's very hard I've known quite a few people that have um actually had lipo and I've actually wanted it myself and I think like Trisha has kind of like solidified it for me like I, I've really thought about it for a long time like obviously I'm not the cutest person out there but um I do have like body insecurities and I think it's like really amazing that she can get on camera and share her life the way that she does like her thick music video that was everything and she look she didn't give no fucks so she has no problem showing her body at all whether she's thick thin or in between you know what I'm saying um, the girl she does have self-confidence like she has to um, and I, I think that's amazing like she should feel empowered like she's one of the most beautiful people on YouTube and the hate that this girl gets is just immense sometimes like some of the videos that I've seen and just people just saying just awful nasty things about her and it's kind of like when is enough enough, <laughs> enough really and I wanted to like do a montage with this video and put like clips of her, her, because Trisha's much, I like, I relate to her in the sense that I'm like a yo-yo, like years will go by, I'll be thick and hey, 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 uh, and then I'll go and I'll go to the gym and lose weight and I'll be like, hey, <laughs> um, and I think Trisha Paytas is very much like that. And I think that she's using this as like a building block to like make a healthy lifestyle for herself. And I think that's something that should be commended and not condemned. Um, the, and another thing about it is too, like I was watching her video and she said she only paid $10,000 for it. Like she said she had six procedures and that's a pretty good deal so i mean it's definitely something that i'm gonna look into i don't know what it'll cost in my area it probably would be like less but there's this like running joke about it, when i hit 10,000 subscribers if that ever does happen that i'll get lip fillers because obviously like it's no like it's not something that i can hide i have small lips everybody in my family has small lips like maybe not so much my bottom lip but it's still small but my top lip it's something that I'm very insecure about, and I think it's that. I think it's that. I think it's amazing that she is brave enough to get on here and share her story with us and explain everything. And I just spit everywhere <laughs> and explain everything in detail the way that she does. Like that is awesome. Like she has like built her whole YouTube career around sharing her life with us, and there's not very many people that would share the things that Trisha Paytas shares and I think we can all learn a valuable lesson from that like yeah she gets picked on and laughed at but I think the good really outweighs the bad because there's a lot of people that don't like Trisha but there's a lot of people that do I mean the girl has dedicated her whole life from 
her youngest age of like 18 to YouTube and now she's 28 and look where she is like people like the realness that is Trisha Paytas and I only I, don't, I can only dream that I, I could be that real like I like I don't sugarcoat shit and stuff but there's like parts of my life that I don't share and I don't know it's insecurities like if I've learned anything from Trisha Paytas she's just like balls to the wall with insecurities like she just it is what it is she throws it out there she knows she may get ridiculed she knows that she may get praised but she still does it and that is amazing to me like I really wish that more people could be that way and not give a fuck what society says about them because society is very cruel. There's people that's going to judge you for anything and everything that you do. They're going to call you ugly. They're going to call you fat. They're going to call you dumb. They're going to call you stupid. But at the end of the day, what do their opinions matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many people that hate on myself and other people when in reality, like, that's not how you make friends. That's not how you... It's not how you get anywhere in life by being nasty to people. And I can't say that I've never been nasty to somebody. But if somebody, if I've been nasty to someone, there's a reason behind it. Um, and I'm digressing now, but I apologize for that. But my whole thing with Trisha Paytas and having liposuction, I'm glad for her. I, like, if she's really wanting to take her life into another direction and be healthy and eat clean and do all that, good for her. Like, that is great for her. Like, and if anybody could do it, it's Trisha. Like, she could have, like, a dietitian, a chef, and all that. Like, trust and believe, honey. If I had that kind of money, I would have a live-in, like, dietitian and a chef, and my ass would be, like, rock solid. Like, but, and she made a very clear point, a very good point in one of her videos. I can't remember which one exactly it was, but she's like, you can't have an ass you can't have a big ass if you don't have genetics for a big ass. Like, yeah, you can go to the gym and you can do squats and you can do all these kettlebell exercises and all that shit. But at the end of the day, your ass is only going to be so big and there's only really so much you can do with it. So I don't think there's anything wrong with people getting liposuction or plastic surgery. Like, I'm like really contemplating it myself now. Like I really do want to get Botox because I'm worried about like fine lines and I am kind of a vain bitch even though I'm not that cute. You know what I'm saying? But there's nothing wrong with getting lipo. There's nothing wrong with plastic surgery. And by all means like the message should be clear that you should do it for yourself and not for other people. Do I think that Trisha Paytas has done this for other people? Absolutely not because she's very beautiful to look at. I just think that she wants to feel more comfortable in her own skin and this was just a means for her to get that way. Like, I believe within the next six months, Trisha Paytas is going to look like a walking fucking Barbie doll. Wait and see. Clocking it now. Trisha Paytas, like, she already looks like Anna Nicole Smith. And I'm, like, one of the biggest Anna Nicole Smith fans there, there ever was. Never missed an episode. Like, I love the train wreck that was Anna Nicole Smith. And I, I say that in a very lighthearted way because... I don't know, like, you watch the, like, I watched Anna Nicole Smith for a long time, <laughs> I had, like, this emotional connection with her, I don't know, it's really weird, it's like when you watch people on TV, it's like you become, and they become embedded in your life, if that makes sense, because you get so invested, it's just like watching soap operas, like, when my mom would watch All My Children, like, you get these people so ingrained in your life, that you really wonder how they're doing in, like, real life, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying, and Trisha Paytas is like that for me, and I love every bit of content that she puts out. I think that it's amazing that she has decided that she is going to take the steps to get healthy um, and all of that because at the end of the day, we could all live a little bit healthier. I mean, my God, like I eat fast food every day of my freaking life, um, but I'm so weird. Like I'll go through these spouts and I'll <laughs> go on a diet and I'll lose a massive amount of weight and then I'll get back to eating what I want and then I'm a fat ass again, but... I really think that she has the right mindset. She's done this for all the right reasons, and I don't think that people should be giving her shit for it. So, I mean, you guys are free to sound off in my comment section below and tell me what you think of this. Have you guys ever had uh, any kind of plastic surgery? I know that I'm now looking into it. I'm definitely going to get lip fillers when I get 10,000 subscribers, if that day ever comes, and I'm going to vlog the whole thing because you guys will laugh like hell because I'm such a big baby when it comes to needles, and that would probably be a very funny sight to see. But I'm sorry that this video is getting long and I kind of went like on a, a, not a rant, but like 
I don't know. But you guys have a great day. I'm going to go to work, even though I feel like shit. And I will see you guys on my next video. And hopefully it won't be in my car because that's all I have time for now. But I love you all. And if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.